So Job is before God and is like, God, like, how could you do this to me? And God's response to Job is not really necessarily satisfying. He says like, gird up your loins now like a man for the Lord your God is going to answer you. God goes back to the beginning. He says like, where were you, Job, when I invented the world? Where were you when I taught the fish how to swim? Where were you, to, where were you when I taught the birds how to fly? When I hung the sun in the sky? Where were you? I'm the Lord and creator of all things. So in a sense, this isn't God just being dismissive of Job's suffering. It's God saying, okay, something is unfolding here, Job, that you couldn't possibly understand. And your suffering is against the back backdrop of something much greater. And I'm actually going to be able to work something glorious out of this. So Really, the answer to Job's question, the answer to Job's suffering, will really only find the pinnacle of its of our understanding, if you want to call it that, which even that is limited, in the cross of Jesus Christ. When God takes all the suffering and all the darkness of the world upon himself, that Jesus, who is God the Son in the flesh, says from that place, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Again, all that sin, all that darkness, all the brokenness of this world, God unites it to his own heart and from there raises that up in glory.